hi guys and welcome back again to my channel I'm going to be making in my kitchen for you guys today some steamed tilapia I'm going to add bami to it I'm going to add some shrimp some jumbo shrimp and some medium sized shrimp I'm going to stop that tilapia real good season up real nice and let you guys see how this thing goes down now another thing that you guys have been asking me for is how to make Ardo bread, not the regular Ardo bread used in flour, but you guys wanted to know how to make Ardo bread using all wheat flour. So this is a all wheat flour. This is a hundred percent all wheat flour. So this is how you make wheat bread. All right, if you want to add some extra wheat to it, you could add it in there. But it's the same steps that you do when you're making all wheat bread. Okay, I'm not going to put that video up right now. I'm going to make it for you later on because I have so many other recipes that I have to get to first. But basically, you're going to use all wheat flour to make that bread. Now, when you make, you're making it, you're going to add the same steps. Everything that I put into the Ardo bread, the white flour, you're going to do it with the all wheat. When you get done baking it, I usually make two of them. And then, because remember, you don't have no preservative in these bread enough. So you want to go ahead and put it in a Ziploc bag, like mine, just like this. And you seal it nice and tight. Now... You could go ahead and put it in your refrigerator, store it in your refrigerator so it stays fresh. Based on how fast you eat it, if you don't eat it too fast, you want to go ahead and make sure that you preserve it. Because remember, like I said, there's no preservative in there, so it will go bad on you if you don't eat it fast, alright? So, you just go ahead and slice it up real good, and put your butter upon it, your jam, whatever, but yes. I never buy bread at any store, I always make all my bread fresh all wheat bread you name it any kind of bread i make them at home and this is the way that i do it and trust me smell good so yeah so that is it so let's move on to this recipe i'm going to go ahead and make it up for you guys so i hope you like it don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share 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 and i will see you in the kitchen with this wonderful dish come on So okay guys, let's talk about our ingredients and what we're going to use. I have right there two tilapia and they're pretty big, like really, really big. I made sure to wash them really good with lemon juice and vinegar. And all that's on there right now is some all-purpose seasoning, a little bit of fish, fish seasoning, salt and pepper, and some garlic powder. So that's all that's on them, right? Make sure when you wash them clean, you kind of give them a little slice right there on both sides. That way you get all the season and everything into the fish. And that fish has been sitting for about 45 minutes now. Okay, so nice and good. Now what I'm going to be adding to that is garlic. I have a teaspoon of garlic here, two stalks of scallion, some fresh thyme. If you have dried thyme, you go ahead and use it as well. In here I have some onions, green pepper, yellow pepper, and red pepper chopped. I have a scotch bonnet pepper right here. I also have some pimento seeds. Okay, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to stuff that fish with some of that as well as I'm going to sprinkle it on when I complete it. I also have a cup and a third of ketchup in here. That is optional. I'm going to add ketchup to mine. You don't have to put it to yours, but I'm going to add ketchup to mine. If you don't want to put ketchup, you can put hot sauce or you can put a little bit of cayenne pepper or something like that, paprika or whatever. And this is two teaspoons of butter and margarine. Over here I have two bami, right? All I did was just cut them like this. So that two bami turned into four to eight pieces. So I'm going to add that to the fish. Over here I have some jumbo size fresh shrimp from the fish market and this is a medium size so um, make sure when guys make sure when you buy shrimp in the fish market you want to make sure that you clean it. You don't want to give people shrimp to eat with you know shrimp poops in it. Make sure you clean you cut that shrimp out right in the center there and take out the intestine. Do not eat your shrimp and the shrimp not clean right 
So as you can see, these are clean. I had to clean these because these are fresh from the fish market. Usually when I'm buying shrimp, sometimes I buy them already clean. But this one, I had to go ahead and clean it. So I'm using the jumbo shrimp and the medium size one. But you can use whatever size shrimp that you need. That that you know that you that you feel comfortable doing. If you don't want to go to the long route of cleaning your shrimp, then you just go ahead and buy them already done or cooked. All right, so let's put all this thing together. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how to get your fish ready and prepped before you put it into the, the into the pot, right? Like I said before, I have two fish here, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and stuff it with some of the shrimp and season it up with some of the onion and the scallion and thyme and all the other stuff. It's really, really simple. So I'm going to go ahead and show you one and then that should be pretty good. Remember, you already have the salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic powder and a little bit of that all-purpose to make it season inside. So on the shrimp, all I put on it was a little bit more salt, just a little bit more because the fish is already seasoned. So let's go ahead and just put your shrimp inside, just like so. It not to be neat, now not like that. So. I put about six shrimp inside because these fish is pretty big and then I'm just gonna go ahead and stuff it with some of this onion and stuff like that sweet pepper a little bit of that um, thyme and scallion just like so hope you guys could see this and just put a little bit of that pimento seed in here with some of that garlic because I'm going to leave some of that seasoning to for when I'm finished. Um, when I'm going to steam it down, I'm going to knead that, alright? So that's basically what it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, do the other one and then we'll move on to the next step. There you go guys, we're moving on to the next step. The first thing I want to let you guys know that I have my oil in here. Probably about two ounces of a cooking oil. You could use EVO or whatever kind of oil that you want to use. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my fish in here. And then the next thing that I want to do is go ahead and add my scallion and thyme and all that good stuff on there. Scotch bonnet pepper. Also going to add my garlic. And remember, you also have the garlic inside as well. Also, I'm going to add my butter. That's two teaspoons of butter. Now, I'm going to put my shrimp on top of this thing. Mm, this thing is mm, looking good already. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add my bami in there. I'm not going to cut that pepper guys, the pepper is right here, I'm not going to cut it because I'm going to want it too spicy for my daughter. Now, if you guys like, you know, a lot of pepper, you could go ahead and just, you know, cut it or whatever you want to do. But I'm not going to burst that pepper because if me burst it, my daughter, I'm going to dinner today. So that's my bami. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and add my ketchup on here. Don't let it get on the bami. Just put it on the fish. That's where you want it to go. On the fish. And then guys, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of water on here. I'll say about two cups of water. Okay? Make sure that your fire is on low to medium heat. This thing should take about 30 to 35 minutes to cook. I'm going to cover this up and let it steam nice and slow and get all the flavor in there so I see so I see you back when this thing is done there you go guys it's all done for you mmm that looks so delicious the fish is just right nice and tender the bami is very nice and soft as you can see it's right there you know, one cookie tota make it too soft. And then the shrimp is perfect. It's nice and tender and just right. The gravy is perfect. So what I'm going to do here, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on a plate for you. 
and I'm going to let you see what it looks like. I'm going to eat this up with um, some crab legs as well, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and put the fish and the bami on the plate so you guys can see what that looks like. So I'll see you back in a few. There you have it, guys. I'm all done. As you can see, that bami is just right. The fish is perfect. It came out so yumptious. Yes, guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. As always, from my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy! a good 30 minutes on medium heat cover it up nice and make it simmer and when it's done simmer a time for eat so see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes so this is in with your foundation full coverage you know like bam and last but not least the last thing i tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here let me show you what this baby looks like it has a whole bunch of concealers i believe it's ten dollars for this palette